Hello everybody, this is Jacob Lawler here with another how-to video on how to write an offer. Step four, integrating and utilizing DocuSign. Now again, this is part four of a five-part series, so if you haven't already done so, make sure to go off and watch the other three videos that have preceded this one. Um, part five after this video in here is gonna be handling counter offers and finalization. So after this video here, there will be a link to how to you watch that one if you are ready for part five. But again, if you haven't already watched the first three, go ahead and click on any of these buttons. Um, that you can click on and actually go to those videos. I'm just realizing as I'm doing this video that at the bottom I say part one again, even though that is part three. Um, hey, what can you do? We're already recording. So anyway, uh, go ahead and click on these videos on any of them that you haven't already seen. Part one was how to write a strong offer. We talked all about how to actually get the information from a listing agent that you need, what goes into a strong offer, what makes it a clean offer, and the real foundation and the concept behind it. Part two was the most important paragraph in the RPA, which is paragraph 14, was an entire video just on that one paragraph that really helps you feel empowered as an agent, and it helps your clients feel empowered as buyers. And then part three, even though it says part one, was actually how to use Zipform Plus and the click-by-click -click instructions on how to actually generate an offer, which is the offer that we're going to be utilizing uh, today during this video in here. Um, so let's go ahead and get into DocuSign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch, and in order to utilize DocuSign. It is an actual program that you do have to pay for. All you need to do is go to DocuSign.com and it will take you to this screen. Um, well, you can do a free trial uh, or if you just want to go right into it, just go ahead and click the buy now button. It will take you to the screen that will tell you all the different plans. Now, us as agents, we're going to utilize the Realtors plan. Uh, so it is $20 a month if you pay it annually. So if you go ahead and click Buy It Now, it's going to take you to the screen. And on this screen, I want to show you a little bit of something. But if you do it monthly, it is $30 per month if you do it monthly. But if you do it all up front, you pay for it all up front for $240, it's $20 a month. So it does save you quite a bit uh, if you're doing it that way. There's only two pieces of information that you need to input. You need to put in your last name and your NRDS number, which you can find that at your dashboard at the local board of realtors. For myself, it's PWR, and it's right on my dashboard on my PWR home page. So let's say, because I've already purchased a DocuSign account, let's show you how to actually integrate it. So what we're going to do here, this is your home page for your Zipform Plus account. Uh, so again, this is the first screen that you show that you see when you first log in. What you're going to do is you're going to click on your name in the upper right hand corner and you're going to click on view profile. Now this is going to show you all of your personal information that, that you have on record with zip forms. But what you're going to do is you're going to click on settings. Now by default, your, sitting, your settings for e-signatures will be ZipLogix Digital Inc. It's a free program that comes with um, your zip forms account and with your board of realtor dues. I personally don't like it. I know a number of agents who do like it. Again, it is free. That is the beautiful uh, price of free. But for me, I like to pay for DocuSign. I find that it's much more uh, user friendly for my clients, uh, so I like to use it that way. But again, if you like, uh, if you want to try out the free version, again, go by the default on the program, which is uh, Digital Ink in here. All you need to do once you get your subscription, all you need to do is put in your email and password that you use for Zip uh, DocuSign, and boom, you're ready to rock and roll. That's how simple it is. All you got to do, you you have to find out what your NRDS number is or what's commonly referred to as your nerds number uh, in order to sign up for DocuSign. But once you got that, boom, your email and password and you're ready to rock and roll. That's how simple it is for your ZipForms account. But let's go back to show you how to actually send a, uh, a DocuSign uh, through ZipForms. So we're going to go ahead and open up that Smith video that, uh, that we had in here. Um, Remember how we created this in the last video on the Smith test video offer. So let's say I want to send this offer, okay? And I want to send this off to be DocuSigned. So all I need to do is click sign this form, or if you have multiple forms, do that, but I'm only going to send this one form. 
and it's gonna load all of the people that you have access to. So this is why I said in the cover sheet it's so important to add in your buyer's uh, email address uh, for buyer one and buyer two and also for yourself. Don't send it to the listing agent for signature or to the sellers for signature. That just gives off the appearance that either number one, you're new, or number two, you're very... Um, I don't know, it's, uh, you're, you're getting ahead of yourself. So just put in your clients, buyer and buyer one, uh, sorry, buyer one and buyer two, and yourself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click done. Now, what you can do right from here is you can go ahead and send this right from here. Um, you can reorder these people if you want. Just so you know, order one, two, and three. That means that number two will not get it until number one signs it. And number three will not get it until number two and number one sign it. So you can actually go in here and you can adjust this. Um, and say that you want all of them to get it at the same time by just saying one, 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 or if you like this order, you can go ahead and keep it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click next, and what this is gonna have you do, it's going to open up this screen, and it's gonna actually show you Let's watch as it opens up. It's is gonna actually show you where all of the signatures are there to go. So this is for you to verify that this is the correct placement. Now, it usually does a pretty good job. Sometimes the dates are a little bit off center. You can go through and change those. Personally, I don't worry so much about that. But let's say that you wanted to change this so that it's over here in the date function. You can do it this way. You know, you can do it for all of these as well. But again, not the end of the world if it's not right there in the same place. But again, you can go through and just make sure that all of these are in the correct spot. One thing to note that I do want to make sure that you that you do see, uh, let's see as it is trying to load here. So these here, just so you know, these are actually optional signatures. You can tell by it says required field. Like if I went and clicked down on this one, this is gonna say that it is a required field. Uh, now, uh, legally, uh, DocuSign has it that this is an optional signature, only because you can't make it mandatory for clients to sign liquidated damages and arbitration. So do prep your clients that it won't necessarily prompt them to sign here. Uh, so just prep them that if they do want those to make sure that they scroll back up and they sign it uh, there. So what I'm gonna do is say, hey, look, and everything is good, I love it, we're gonna go ahead and click send, because it gives you the chance to actually do it right there, to adjust any of them, so boom, thank you for using DocuSign, your DocuSign session is now over. Click the close button, return to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click close. So now it just sent the email, so let's see if it already got to my email account. So it just showed this here, so I'm gonna refresh my page, And right here, Jacob Lawler via DocuSign. So it just says that Jacob Lawler sent you a document to review and sign. Then you can just go ahead and click review document. This will be what your clients actually see when they, they, when they receive uh, a, uh, a, what you call it, uh, a DocuSign uh, email from you. So this is gonna ask them to review all of the forms. So they're gonna click and then once they click sign, it's gonna prompt them to say, hey, is this your full name? They can actually go through, and if you misspelled their name for some reason, don't do that, by the way, <laughs> they, you can go here and change it. So what you would do is it also gives them the ability to choose their own signature. Um, don't have them go through and make it so, oh, well, none of them really match my signature. It's kind of irrelevant. Uh, any of these signatures are legal in California. So let's say I want to use this signature. So now from now on, every single time that I click, it's going to boom, put my name, my initials, boom, put my initials. Look at how quickly this is done. Super simple for your clients. So if you notice on this page, these are optional. So again, prompt them that on this page, which is page eight of the RPA, that if they want those, they are to click on those there. Again, it will not flag and do all those. So again, coming through, sign, sign here, all done. And now you can say finish. So there you go, it says you're all done signing, a copy of this document has been sent to your email address. You can also download and print using the icons above. So if they wanna print their copy or download a copy, they're good to go. So um, just so that you know, this as soon as you're, this person is now done with signing, the next person will now receive that email. 
So unless you uh, had it so that they all do it at the same time. So if you notice, uh, I just got a new message saying that, hey, now I'm ready for this one. So now this will be buyer number two to go through that same process. But I hope that was helpful. Um, once this document comes back all completed, it will come in the same part and it will also include the document down in the left hand corner. All you need to do is download that document and or just forward this whole message directly to the listing agent if you want to send it directly to them. Or remember in the previous video, we talked about printing it out and presenting the offer in person. But as you can tell, that was a fairly simple way in order to actually do a signature program instead of having your clients get the email, print it out, sign it, scan it, send it back. This is a much more simple, much more legible, uh, much more legible way to actually get an email, uh, sorry, get a signature from your clients if they're not there with you, which again is always the best way to do this in person so that they're right there so that you can answer questions. But I hope this was helpful for you. If you are ready for the final video in the five part series, go ahead and click down below and that is on how to handle counter offers and the finalization of the agreement. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments down below. Um, I would love to hear from you as what your thoughts are, if you're having trouble with DocuSign or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Um, I hope you guys got benefit. I hope you're getting value from this series and I'll see you on the next video.